In 2002, Dr. Mutsemi was permanently transferred to Mutari Hospital. Again, the Lord laid upon him to start Cornerstone Fellowship Mutari. Today, Mutari has a church stand where they worship with other assemblies within the region. He is assisted by Pastor and Mrs. Shumba and Pastor Mubango. In 2002, I transferred from Blawayo and came to Mutari. And this is where I got married to my, to my dear wife. And this is when she joined the ministry, and I'm sure it was by default. It was by default. <laughs> and it was not by an intention, but she, she, she has been an awesome help to me as we started the work here in Mutare. The Mutare work has grown phenomenally. We now have four assemblies in the region. Um, and in this year of faith, we are believing God to see the work expand um, phenomenally. We, are, we have plans to go into Nyazura, um, in Rusape, um, Chipinge, Nyanga. So the whole of the Manikalin province, we want to saturate with the proclamation of the gospel. Other works include Mashingo, which was pioneered by Pastor and Mrs. Chibwana. 2004, when we started ministry in Mashingo. And by then, it was uh, myself and my wife together with just a few uh, believers whom Jehovah God had given unto us uh, as an assembly. Right now we've grown uh, in leaps and bounds. We are about uh, 35 to 40 in attendance. And in 2003, Pastor Evans Chitapa began work in Gokwe. Today, Gokwe stands as a region, has purchased and built their own church property. This uh, assembly or this church here in, in Gokwe is the first uh, church in rural areas. We are looking forward to, to, to plant churches from Gokwe to Binga because uh, all those uh, rural areas, they need gospel and they need to, to hear the, the, the gospel of Jesus Christ. Rosie, there are people who are living even uh, life without God and life without understanding God, and they are doing whatever they, were, they, they are doing because uh, that's why they are poor. Because with God, God will bless them. If we can preach gospel, they will understand God and they will take the right way of living, and God will bless them. Going across the borders, in 2006, Dr. Douglas Modimba, who was a member in the early years, graduated as a veterinary scientist. He got a job with the Namibian government and felt led to start Cornerstone Fellowship International among the Himbo and the Herero tribes. Today, the church is in five regions of Namibia, namely Opuo, where it originally started, Ucho, Ochuarongo, Sumer and Vindu. They have purchased two church buildings and a church stand is under construction in Opo. CFI Namibia started in 2006 uh, in the northwestern part of the country in a small town called Opo. Uh, and today the ministry has extended to touch other parts of the country. I have a desire to see to it that uh, the vision for Cornerstone Fellowship International in Namibia continue to expand until we basically touch every city, every town, and every village of this nation. In 2008, Dr. Chitapa and his whole family moved to the UK to support their son, Don David, who required special education. However, the Lord's purpose was to establish new work overseas. So in 2011, Cornerstone Fellowship UK was launched at West Bromwich Community Centre in Birmingham, West Midlands. Dr. Chitapa preached passionately under the anointing of the Holy Ghost to the few people who were present. They were blessed by such unique teaching of the Word. The church has become established and is currently being led by Pastor and Mrs. Muderi, who joined the ministry in 2012. 
To God be the glory who causes all things to work together for good for his name and his people. In 2012, Cape Town, under the leadership of Pastor Mrs. Mahoney, started and currently has two assemblies. We are in Kaelicha and in, in Cryfontaine, that is where we have our services. Over the years, we have had uh, people come through our doors and the work has grown. And Cryfontaine is actually an offshoot of the work in, in, that God started in Kaelicha in a place called Makaza. And we have seen the numbers growing. Um, on our register in Kailicha, we've got actually about 35 people, and then average services are attended uh, by 15 to 20 people on, uh, on a Sunday. In 2013, Lambton Park Assembly, Joburg, SA, was started and is being led by Pastor and Mrs. Sing it with us. The CFI vision has truly proven to be a multifaceted and multinational vision. Its global tentacles have augmented the very DNA of what we are as a church planting movement. The vision of CFI as a missions driven vision has hashed various platforms to, pl to facilitate serving the body and advancing the cause of the Great Commission. Global Missions Frontier was first organized in 1999 as Africa Missions Frontier, so a different turn following a divine encounter between Dr. Cleopas Chitapa in partnership with Apostle Ronald Parks of Philadelphia, United States. GMF Today trains and deploys indigenous missionaries to engage in the Great Commission. GMF has truly become a forum for cross-cultural missions through organizing mission trips to Africa and other parts of the world. Today, its efforts are complemented with the establishment of a 24-hour radio station out of Philadelphia called Global Network Radio. Dr. Cleopas Chitapa is also the regional director for Every Home for Christ, overseeing 25 nations of the Sub-Sahara. An international missions organization dedicated to the Great Commission. He has served under this ministry for over 20 years. Cornerstone Bible Academy started in 2005, trains ministers of different churches. Today, CBA has spread throughout Zimbabwe and Namibia and has other online distance learners. The college is directed by Reverend George Biswick. We have grown up to a current in class enrollment of 133 with about 160 students have been graduated from our classes. CBA has grown over the years, uh, as I have said, from one a campus to um, many other campuses, namely in Blawayo, we have one in Gokwe and Mutare, and we have another class there in Namibia. We started enrolling uh, long distance um, students uh, like those in Dubai, Mozambique, Zambia and South Africa. We also have some in Botswana. Uh, as CBA, our um, learning environment is non-denominational, that is we pull our students from across the denominational divide. And, uh, Founders Eagles Forum Beginning in 2011, trains all CFI pastors, elders and deacons together with, together with their wives to be effective able ministers. Word Festival camps, which began in 2000, allow all CFI members to gather yearly for a time in the Word preached from anointed guest speakers and partners. The signature of God and his divine approval of this ministry is self-evident. The vision will always be like a huge tree in which the birds of the air can make their nests. As we move into a new dispensation, the five core values and non-negotiables of this ministry must always guide this vision. Christ must always be the foundation and the center of all we do.
plurality of ministry and the priesthood of each believer must guide our function. The Word of God must always be preeminent in witness and fellowship. Prayer will remain at the center of our devotion. Global missions is a permanent part of our DNA till he comes. To God be the glory. Amen and amen. For all things are possible with you. Lift up your hands. Lord, nothing is How many of you believe that tonight? Sing it with us. Nothing, whatever we say. Oh, nothing, nothing, whatever in your life, it's possible. All things, all things are possible.